Bitter vine, better known as quokka bush here in Jamaica, is a popular medicinal plant that is used a lot in Jamaica for treating eczema, chicken pox, measles, and other skin rashes. Keep watching. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Earth's Medicine, the channel that introduces you to the healing wonders of Mother Earth with a Jamaican flavor. So today, I am going to be introducing you to Quokka Bush. Specifically, I'll be sharing the scientific name, plant family, description, origin, as well as the habitat, some of the health benefits, and how Jamaicans use this plant to treat some of these illnesses. I will also be sharing my personal testimony of using this plant to treat eczema as well as itching. So let's get right into the video. Jamaican Quokka Bush, also pronounced Quokka by Jamaicans, is a local variant of the plant genus Mycania, which has over 400 species and is a part of the Asteraceae plant family. Its preferred scientific name is Mycania micrantha and it has several common names depending on the region in which it is found. For example, there is bitter vine as mentioned before and there is too Chinese creeper, American rope, mile a minute weed, and climbing hemp weed, among many other names. Jamaican quokka bush is native to South and Central America and thrives in a warm and humid environment. It can be found growing in places like Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean, some parts of the United States and Africa, as well as Southeast Asia and the Pacific. In Jamaica, you can find it growing wildly organically and abundantly in backyards forests along roadsides and in other green spaces Jamaican Quokka bush is a long-lived, fast-growing, thornless vine with numerous leaves that are bright green, wide, and heart-shaped with a beautiful, intricate design. The plant also produces small, white or cream colored flowers that tend to flower at different times of the year depending on the region it is found. These flowers also produce many seeds. Jamaican quokka bush can grow up to two meters tall sprawling out to about 2.5 meters wide. It's very invasive and likes to root itself into the soil 
and then grow vertically by using other trees, fences, and light posts, or just any other firm object that will support it. And because it's so fast growing, in no time, it can cover up other plants, eventually causing damage or even killing them by cutting out the light and affecting their growth. For many years, various cultures around the world have used Jamaican quaker bush medicinally to treat various health issues. And some of its proclaimed health benefits have been proven scientifically. In Jamaica, quaker bush is a part of our folklore medicine and for generations, people have traditionally used this plant to treat a few ailments. However, the main use of quaker bush in Jamaica is to treat skin problems such as sores, eczema, chicken pox, measles, and other rashes as well as itches and insect bites. Within the practice of herbalism, there is a theory known as the doctrine of signatures, which is the belief that a plant's physical appearance and taste, among other things, are somehow linked to its medicinal effects and that this was God's way of showing mankind what each plant could be useful for medicinally. As mentioned before, quaker bush is a very invasive plant so it has the potential to completely cover other plants. For this reason, it can be compared to the human skin, which offers coverage to our bodies. So based on the doctrine of signatures, that would be a clue as to its medicinal effects. Remember now that this is just a theory that modern medicine has completely dismissed. However, it is interesting to note that Jamaican quaker bush does in fact contain phytonutrients that can help to heal and repair the skin. For the treatment of sores, eczema and other rashes as well as itches and insect bites jamaicans use quaker bush leaves and stems in different ways there are some people who will harvest fresh leaves and stems from the plant and place them into a bath pan with water. Older folks would use a galvanized bath pan instead of what I'm using right now. This pan would then be placed into the sun to allow the water to be heated by the sun. In so doing, the sun would work with the water to extract the medicine from the plant. 
This water would then be used to bathe infants and small children who were affected with skin issues such as the ones mentioned previously. Some people will harvest both the leaves and the stems of the plant and make what is called green water. They do this by placing the leaves and stems of the plant into their bath water. Then they use their hands to rub the plant while it's in the water. until the water turns green. They then use this water to bathe their skin and allow it to remain on their skin for about five to 10 minutes before washing it off to give their skin time to absorb the medicine. There are other people who prefer to harvest fresh leaves from the plant or some will use the dried leaves and stems of the plant to make tea. And then they will use the water from this tea to wash their face or any other affected areas on the skin. Some people don't do any kind of infusion whatsoever. Instead, they just crush the leaves of the plant and apply the juice onto the afflicted area of the body. Then they let it remain on their skin for about five to 10 minutes. And then they just wash it off afterwards. But it really doesn't matter which method is used because the outcome is usually the same. I just wanted to share my personal experience with the use of Jamaican quokka bush. This is a rash that I had on my hand. As you can see, the skin was full of scales and blisters caused from severe itching that led to lots of scratching. For weeks, I tried to treat it with different kinds of things, you know, like over-the-counter medicine and other things, but nothing worked. This is my hand a few days after treatment. And this was what my hand looked like after just a little over a week of treatment. Jamaicans also use quokka bush to treat coughs, colds, fever, breathing problems, diarrhea, as well as chest and stomach pains. They do this by using the leaves of the plant to make a Jamaican style, quote unquote, bush tea, which can be made from either the dried leaves or green leaves of the plant. And then they just take this tea internally. Quokka bush can also be used as a blood purger and a natural blood thinner. People also heat fresh leaves from the plant and use it to kill bacteria, heal wounds, and treat yeast infections as well.